Hey guys, Anthrolog here, and the Perix PX5200 is one of the best budget mechanical keyboards. Starting off with the design and build quality, the PX5200 is built of a matte black plastic. It's no aluminum, but it still feels like it can last with some abuse. The bottom of the keyboard has routing holes for the included braided USB cable, and kickstands are also included at the bottom of the keyboard. Something that I see missing in a lot of keyboards are rubber feet on the kickstands, and I'm really happy to report that we see them on the PX5200s. There are also two more rubber feet on the bottom of the keyboard. The PX5200 is also really compact for a full-size keyboard. It does have a row of 8 programmable keys, but they aren't in a very good location to be used on the fly. But for launching programs and stuff like that, it's really good. Other than that, the PX5200 has a standard keyboard layout. It does have a gaming key which disables the windows button so you don't accidentally exit out of your game while you're playing. I would have liked to seen a wrist rest included with the keyboard, but for $90 you really can't complain. So the keyboard uses genuine Cherry MX switches, and here I have the brown version, but you can also find it in reds and blues. Here's a quick sound test. The browns are in between the MX blues and the MX reds. It has a tactile bump, but no clicking sound. The stock keycaps are also really nice. They're made of a soft touch plastic that in my opinion feels better than a regular matte keycap. The caps are also fully interchangeable, which means you can buy another set and put them on if you don't like the stock ones. The keys are also backlit, which is really nice for just $90. The LEDs are pretty strong and bright, and they look really good at night. Lighting isn't too even though, and you can see in some places the light only shines through part of the keycap. But still, backlighting is a real treat to have for a $90 keyboard. The keyboard also supports full N key rollover on PS2 mode or 12 key rollover on USB mode. This means that if you type a bunch of letters at the same time, all of them will register on PS2 mode and up to 12 will register on USB modes and not just the key you press first. Overall, there really isn't much to say about this keyboard. It's a cheap and functional one. It uses genuine cherry key switches, has backlighting, and has 8 programmable buttons. For $90 on Newegg or Amazon right now, this keyboard is a steal. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.